Hey folks, how y'all doing today? This is what I'm producing right now. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. And I've got my battery bank hooked up properly. And I'm pretty happy. I'm really happy. Thanks, YouTubers. Y'all got me straight. This is what we're producing. The battery bank is doing great. We just hit a cloud just then. So it's going, it's going cloudy and partly sunny, or partly cloudy, whatever you want to call it. It's doing really good. Um, and that's what we're producing. The trimetric. We're at 162% on the battery bank. And it got up to 200. Don't know why, but it is. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll get some feedback on that. Yeah, working excellent. Uh, 25.7 volts. And she is pumping out the power. Pumping out the juice. Let's see. Yep, she's climbing back up now. Climbing back up. Sun is popping back out again. Yep. Come on, let's see a doubt. <laughs> Love seeing a thousand watts. Oh yeah. It's one of them days today. Hot and muggy. But anyway, the Bogart Trimetric 2025A. 20, That's uh, me what watch we're putting out. And I got my battery bank set at 270 amp hours. And I'll show you how, show you how I did that. Amp hours produced today, 166. Decent charge from last night. These are equalized. I don't have to, I don't, these are AGM batteries. I don't equalize these. Amps, 22.6 amps. 22.5. Let's go here, I got it set up. Alright, P1. It's bolts. Let's set it. P2, off. 270 amp hours we got to set up. And that's watts. Easiest set for me. Yeah, she is working like a charm. And here's what I did in my battery bank. I redid it last night. I had to get my good old secret buddy on YouTube. Alright. I did just like he said in his diagram. He sent me a personal message. Thank you so much. But anyway, I got my negative. Okay, first of all, we'll go with the series. Series, negative, to positive, right there. Negative to positive. Negative, okay, no, excuse me. <laughs> the negative to positive. Negative to positive. And that is a bank of six. Now, over here, now right here, I'll zoom in. Right here, it's my red wire connecting this set 
of, batter of batteries together in parallel. Positive, going to positive, right there, over here, and that one's connected, uh, that one's connected right here, and goes over to here, to that one. That's it. And just connecting that battery bank. Alright. It's parallel. Alright. Right here. I'm a, no negative. I'm over here connecting that set of battery batteries together. Alright. Then from here. Here's my, my negative. Connecting that set of batteries together. So that is all connected in parallel. Series parallel. Is it, have I got my battery bank. And these are universal batteries, great batteries, haven't had a problem with them at all. And they're AG, sealed lead acid or AGM absorbed glass matte batteries. And they are doing an outstanding job. Um, had them since 2009, when I bought my first one, or January 2010, let's say that, January 2010. And they've been doing a super job. And the Outback GTFX2524. Will make your batteries keep them topped off at all times. I mean, you know, floating and all that stuff, everything it needs. Uh, batteries should last you 10 years. AGMs, that is. And they're good in cold climates, warm climates. Uh, they're really super. And there's no maintenance of thermal water, nothing like that. And, and when I heard today, lead prices have gone up. So when you get ready to buy more batteries, just sell it when these go bad. Sell them, get the money where I can't get out of them, um, and then get the new ones in the future. But anyway, that's my battery bank. Finally got it right. Thank y'all so much, YouTubers, and thank you so much, y'all, buddy out there, for messing with me. Cross messing with me. I added one more cable, like you said. And she's working super today. Even better than what it was, what it was before. Alright, now, our Outbacks. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, here's my. You can see it's hot from my battery bank cover. <laughs> and I got it stamped on there what I have. So people know. This is the 1600 watt. I have a ray on this one right here. And right now we're putting out 400 watts. It's cloudy as heck outside, partly cloudy. And we're in GT mode, grid time mode. Whoa, sorry about that, y'all. Doing a fine job. And let's look at this. These are the, the 15, I mean, excuse me, third degree angle panels. Not third degree angle, I'm not talking, they're, bonus. they're probably at 70 degree angle, sorry. And they're, that's what I'm bringing in right now. They're all tied in a uh, series. These panels are 12 volt panels, I got five of them up there, of 140 watts a piece, which, e which equals up to 700 watts. But, you know, it's cloudy out there right now. But anyway, this is just an update of what I got going on. So, and here's the conditions outside today. The good conditions is uh, 88.8, but 71% humidity with the heat index of 102. She is kicking. All right. So anyway, all right, one second here, y'all. This is KVSMC. I uh, just moved it. Thank you. Zoom in right, will it? I don't even know what happens. That's the operator probably for me. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. I just want to show you stuff I fix. And I'm still learning. I need. I, I got a long ways to go uh, to, to get better. And I watch all these videos. And thank y'all for the comments. It really helps me out a lot. Alright, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day. Alright, bye-bye. Please subscribe.